This guide will help you fix the no DHCP server was found. There is a problem with the DNS cache, unable to contact your DHCP server errors, and other frustrating connectivity issues. Despite having a stable internet connection and a properly functioning router, these errors can prevent you from accessing the internet. These connectivity problems can occur on Windows 8 and Windows 10, but they are relatively more frequent on Windows 11. It is commonly believed that these errors only happen with Wi-Fi, but they can also arise with Ethernet connections. To be honest, there is no fixed or permanent solution to these issues except one. However, the following methods may help resolve them. As you might know, every Internet router has a default IP address, which is often the same across multiple routers. This similarity can sometimes cause connectivity conflicts. Without diving into technical details, imagine you have multiple routers at home, all using the same IP address. This can make it difficult for Windows to determine which router you intend to use. To resolve this conflict, restart your router. In most cases, this will fix connectivity issues. If the problem persists, you may need to change your router's IP address. However, we strongly advise against doing this without expert supervision. Additionally, be sure to note down your router's login credentials before making any changes. If changing the router's IP address is not an option, there are alternative ways to fix connectivity errors. The Diagnose Network Problems Utility in Windows can resolve many connectivity errors. This is one of the best options if you don't want to restart your device or router. This tool performs two functions. One, it scans for network issues and, if possible, fixes them automatically. And second, if it cannot resolve the problem, it provides suggestions for manual fixes. A particularly effective solution is to restart the Wi-Fi network adapter using this utility. This option refreshes or reboots the Wi-Fi adapter, helping resolve connectivity errors such as no DHCP server found. However, the downside is that this is not a permanent solution. To access this utility, right-click on Ethernet or Wi-Fi icon and then click Diagnose Network Problems. If you use an external Wi-Fi dongle or adapter, you may experience connectivity problems. We recommend using an internal or built-in Wi-Fi adapter whenever possible. Additionally, ensure that device drivers are installed and up-to-date. Most importantly, avoid using cheap or low-quality external Wi-Fi dongles or adapters as they can cause frequent disconnections. Using a VPN service can sometimes cause connectivity errors. If possible, avoid using VPN services, especially free or ad-supported VPNs. If you must use a VPN, opt for VPN browser extensions instead of VPN desktop clients. VPN browser extensions only affect internet activity within your web browser. VPN desktop clients on the other hand, control your entire device's network connection and may create multiple connectivity issues. We noticed these problems while using Hotspot Shield and Cloudflare Warp VPN. If you're experiencing issues, we recommend completely uninstalling VPN desktop clients rather than simply disabling them. After uninstalling the VPN, flush the DNS cache and restart your device. Open the Start menu and type CMD. Select Command Prompt from the search results. In the Command Prompt window, type ipconfig slash flush dns, press Enter, and then reboot your device. Hopefully, this will resolve the error. Outdated or faulty Wi-Fi or Ethernet drivers can also be responsible for connectivity issues. We do not recommend using Device Manager to update drivers, as it often fails to find the latest versions. Instead, manually download and install the necessary drivers from your device manufacturer's official website. To find the correct drivers, 
Search for your device brand and model in Google or another search engine, e.g. Dell Latitude 3340 Wi-Fi or Ethernet drivers. Download the latest Wi-Fi or Ethernet drivers from the official website and install them. We hope one of these solutions has helped you restore your internet connection. If you found another method that worked for you, please share it in the comments. We'll update this guide on Soft Suggester with your contributions. Feel free to use the comment section for any suggestions, feedback, or questions. More info and download links can be found on softsuggester.com. Subscribe to Software Geek for more useful videos and ring bell button for the latest updates.